All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a good workout you guys could do that will give you a really good pump. I've been doing this workout for like two years, especially when I first started, I did it for like two years straight. And every time I did it, I felt stronger and it gives you a really good pump. So we started by doing 10 pull-ups and then 30 push-ups. Next up, we got 30 push-ups. Straight into it, no breaks. That's 30, so 10 and 30. After that, we got nine and 27. Whatever I do on the pull-up bar, I do three times on the push-ups. So if I do one pull-up, I do three push-ups. Since I did 10 pull-ups, I did 30 push-ups. We go down the ladder, so nine, eight, seven, six on the pull-ups, and then 27, 24, 21, 18, like that on the push-ups, all the way down to zero. So next one's nine pull-ups, 27 push-ups. I try not to rest too long between these sets. When I used to do it, I would go straight into it. No more than 20, 30 second break. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 27 push ups. Seven more. I'm feeling the burn already. I haven't done this in like three or four weeks, so I'm feeling the burn for sure. Next up is eight pull-ups and 24 push-ups. You don't have to do the same amount of numbers as me right now. You can start with lower numbers or you could use a resistance band and do easier push-up variations. Eight and 24 is up. That's eight, 24 push-ups. I always hated push-ups more than pull-ups. 24 push-ups. Oh. This never gets easier. Seven and 24, I mean seven and 21. Seven, 21 push-ups now. Uh. Even when I get stronger, push-ups just never get easier for me. Next set is going to be six pull-ups and 21, six pull-ups and 18 push-ups. I 
I don't need to rest for the pull-ups. I only need to rest for push-ups because push-ups get me tired. So six, I got that. Eighteen push-ups. Three more. Uh, definitely try this workout. If, even if you feel like you're pretty strong, I think this workout would humble you if you take less breaks. If you think it's easy, just take less breaks and you're gonna start to feel it. Next up is five and 15. Five pull-ups, 15 push-ups. Five and 15. Ah, fifteen. Ah, uh, feeling my biceps when I do the push-ups. When I go down, I feel a stretch right here over my pecs and then into my biceps. This is a full upper body workout. If you do this three, four times a week or three times a week, you'll start seeing abs. You'll see bigger arms, bigger chest, bigger back. All your upper body will be working. Now it's getting easier, but it's just harder mentally because the reps are low. It's just that I'm so fatigued. So four and 12, straight into it. Try not to rest too long. Twelve. Twelve push-ups. Three and nine is up. My body hates this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. My body wants to rest right now. It doesn't want to do anything. Three and nine. Nine push-ups. Two and six. And then the one after that is one and three, so I might just combine it. I'll do three and nine again. Nine push ups, and then we're done. That's it. Check out the pump. So I just want to say one more thing about this workout that you guys just watched me do. Um, this workout might seem or look like it's easy or maybe it's not fancy enough like most workouts nowadays. It just looks like it's too simple, right? But that's the stuff that works. That's stuff that worked for me. I never had to do a thousand different exercises for my upper body. I only did two, pull-ups and push-ups. You don't have to take my word for it. You could try it out for yourself. Do this workout one time and I promise you the way you feel right after with the pump 
and you're just gonna feel so good after the workout that you're always gonna keep doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.